doesn't matter how attractive your face is, how sexy your body is, if your nonverbal communicating is bad, it can actually make you less attractive. But the good news is even if you're average looking, if you learn to utilize the body language tricks that I'm going to deploy and show you in this video, it's going to take you from a 6 to an 11.5. Today, guys, I'm going to go over some of my favorite body language tricks that will instantly make other people view you as more confident, more interesting, friendlier, but also more attractive. So the first body language trick that's going to make you 100% more attractive to other people is to start touching them a little bit more. Now, I know that some of you are like, yo, touch them? Really? You want me to grab them? I don't want you to grab boobies or booties, but I do want you to start touching lightly on the arm or back. Even if it's light and subtle, it subconsciously makes the person feel like you're engaging with them and connecting more deeply. When you connect with people more deeply, they view you as more attractive. Which brings me to the second incredibly powerful and attractive body body language trick, and that is to nod. Nod when somebody is talking. It's once again a form of active listening. When somebody nods when you're talking, it makes them think subconsciously that you're super interested in them and what they're actually saying. Number three is learn to talk with your hands. One of the big mistakes that people make when talking is they will have their hands in their pockets or they'll just stand there, right? It's not very interesting and it makes you look cold and kind of boring, but see what I did there? When I started to actually use my hands, it's an engaging, more vibrant way to express yourself. Now, in terms of hand communication, there are a few little tricks I will give you, all right? You wanna make sure that your hands are matching the tempo and cadence of what you're actually saying. You wanna make sure that when you're using your hands, right, as expressive tools of sexiness, that you're not actually going like too fast or getting too wild. When your hands are open, this is an open body language posture, which actually brings us to the fourth incredibly attractive way for you to be viewed as more attractive. Instead of going here, instead of being here, it's here, right? You're open. This means that other people are going to view you as more friendly, also more attractive, because when you actually are standing there and you're all closed off, right, this makes other people feel like you're not interested in actually chatting them up. Before we move on to some other body language tricks, I want to go over a few other nonverbal communicating tips and tricks that you can actually use to like crush it when it comes to nonverbal communicating all right number one is look good right whether or not it's your style whether or not it's your hair remember people are very visual one two three boom somebody just formed an opinion on you it only takes three seconds based solely on what you look like and how you carry yourself the other thing that is like a game changer when it comes to personal presentation is the way that you smell your scent and the way that you smell is one of the most powerful nonverbal communicating tools that you have if you smell incredible good news people are gonna be attracted and drawn to you if you smell bad unfortunately this is a death sentence and you're never going to overcome the fact that people think you stink if you guys are looking for a fragrance that I recently got from Scentbird, today's video sponsor that is insane, it's well played by Confessions of a Rebel. Oh my God, it is so incredible. I put it on and I went home and my wife literally was like, yo, what are you wearing? Let's just say <laughs> it's like my lucky fragrance, apparently. Guys, Scentbird, I've talked about them before. If you haven't tried it, you are totally missing out. If you're somebody that loves smelling incredible and trying different fragrances without risking a ton of money buying a big bottle, guys, you gotta hit that special link down below and use the code AlphaM55 to get 55% off your first month. So month number one, you're gonna get this, this super sexy metal scent bird case, right? And inside is your fragrance, right? They're interchangeable. And so on month number two, when you actually get your second fragrance that you choose, because that's the incredible thing about Scentbird, you actually get to go on and build a custom queue, which means they're going to automatically send you once a month that fragrance that's next in line. And then month number two, they're gonna send you the second fragrance in your queue. Guys, Scentbird, in my opinion, is like the best subscription service out there, right? Regular price is only like $16.95, and you get a ton of fragrance each month. Month. It's literally like 120 squirts. They have a crazy selection. Now, of course, they've got all of your favorite designer fragrances like Gucci, Prada, but they also have a lot of like niche boutique brands, and that's what I love discovering. Some of my favorite are like Vince Camuto, 
And Confessions of a Rebel, they apparently are crushing it when it comes to fragrances. Guys, the other cool thing is that if you're not really sure, right, you can also take a fragrance like Quiz, and they're going to recommend some fragrances for you to add to your queue. Guys, the other cool thing is that you can upgrade, so if you're interested in getting more than just one fragrance a month, you can do that as well. And that's what I do because I'm a fragrance slut, right? This one is Home by Vince Camuto, another one that I recently got because I literally get like three a month. Noir Castle by English Laundry. So English Laundry, I I love this one. It was one that I heard about. I was like, all right, cool. Let me try it, guys. And I love it. All three of these fragrances are insane. I'm going to link to the ones that I got this month down below, but I also want to know down in the comments, what's your favorite signature fragrance, all right? I'm always looking for new recommendations. Guys, remember, if you hit that special link down below and use the code AlphaM55, you're literally getting 55% off your first month. I'm telling you, guys, if you are somebody that loves exploring new fragrances and switching it up and just changing, hit the link, use the code out for M55 to get 55% off your first month of Scentbird. The next body language trick for you to be 100% more attractive is eye contact. It's a birthmark. Well, eye contact, right? There's an art to it, if I'm being honest. Because if you're not making enough of it, you look shady. If you're making too much of it, you look creepy. There's some other problems with the lack of eye contact, right? It makes you look weak. It also makes you look submissive, all right? It's critical that you figure out a happy balance, right? For me, it's about five seconds. One, two, three, four, five, I'm looking, and then break gaze and back. One, two, three, four, five, break gaze and back. But locking and loading, never letting them shake your gaze, this is also a little bit creepy. The other thing that's creepy is if you stand too close, which brings me to the next body language trick to be more attractive, and that is understand and utilize personal space. Right about there, right? You should be able to reach out and touch somebody in terms of a casual conversation. Now, if you're closer with somebody, it's appropriate to take one step in. Any closer though, or if you're talking to somebody that you're not really that familiar with, you got to make sure you back it up to about an arm's distance. And if you're too far away, this is a sign that you're not interested in getting close to somebody. It's also really difficult to have a conversation from five feet away. You got to come in, be able to, little, little bit of that. Next up, we got to talk about your handshake, right? Handshakes are one of the most attractive sexy things that you can do and master, all right? Because if you're a dead little weak fish, it makes you look like you're submissive and a puss. If you're too aggressive, it looks like you're trying to compensate for somebody. Now, it's about firm handshake, all right? One, two, three, and out. Not one, two, three, four, five, six, and that's a little bit weird as well. Practice, great handshakes, take practice. But the cool thing is that you can practice with your dad, your mom, your weird uncle Barry. Now, what happens if you go in and you mistime it? Because handshakes are all about timing. If you get owned, what happens? What I would recommend is make a joke about it, right? If you get owned, be like, oh, wait a sec, hold on, I gotta do that again, right? Acknowledge it and then go in and try again. It's a great way when you meet somebody to let them know, hey, I'm playful, I'm fun, and you're definitely attractive. Next up, we gotta talk about your mouth because that's one of the things that's going to get you in trouble, but it can also, on the flip side, make you extra, 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 extra sexy, all right? Now, a few things you don't wanna do. Don't cover your mouth. It makes you look like you're lying. It also makes you look sneaky, all right? And your hands, they stink. Don't smirk. Smirking makes people think that you're shady, makes them think that you're thinking something not super great, right? A smirk isn't a good thing, right? Neither is a fake smile, right? When you actually smile at somebody, all this action up here gets moving, right? So a real smile, you're gonna see it in their eyes. When you're talking, when you're communicating, when you're smiling, it's critical that people know that it's a real smile because people can sense when it's fake. Life is way too short not to use your most valuable and powerful attraction, nonverbal communicating body language trick that you have, which is your smile. If you smile at somebody, game over. It's gonna make people think that you're friendly, engaged, that you're happy, that you're fun, and that you are super attractive.